guys, it's your boy Ed Kane. I am at T.O. Pine here in Torre Alta, Main Street in the community. <clears throat> Coming to grab a bite and talk to you guys a little bit. This place is really good. I've eaten here once before. Well, a couple times actually. They have pastries, um, all types of cakes, uh, cheesecakes, souffle, I mean, everything you can think of, marble cake. And they had everything is good. Well, not everything. I haven't tasted everything, but I tasted a lot of the stuff. And uh, this place is nice. This is like a meeting point. People want to come and do business. A lot of people meet up here. This is where I've met my rep realtor at a couple times. And uh, a couple people I know, we come up here. It's right around the corner. But it's a real nice, chill spot. It's my man right here. <laughs> and uh, like I said, real nice, clean spot. Come up here and grab me a bite. And uh, man, you guys, you got wraps, you got, uh, I mean, shit, everything. Macaroni and cheese, you got pasta, you got salmon, you got um, chicken Philly, you got steak Philly, I mean, you got burgers, you got fries, you got everything. They have some really good cafe or coffee. Uh, prices are good. Coffee is like what a, almost two dollars. Burgers what four twenty five. It's under ten bucks. About eight dollars. Some change U.S. I mean, but they got everything that you're looking for, man. They got security as well, and uh, in case you need it. But never had a problem. It's a safe area. And guys, I just wanted. It's crazy. I got a notification earlier today. Let me set this tripod. Talk to you guys. For a minute. I got a notification earlier today on my phone. Crazy about another mass shooting. And it's just, it's crazy, man. It's, I mean, you can't go to Walmart. The other one, the other day, I think it's been three, if I'm not mistaken. But I know it's been two. One today, and I think it's like several people killed, several fatalities. And then the one the other day, which is right outside of Memphis, where I'm originally from. And uh, it's crazy, man. I mean, it's like Americans are just freaking beasts. I mean, animals, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the frustration, the bills, or I, I don't know what it is, man, but people talk about the DR and you talk about other countries in the Caribbean, just period around the world. And you want to talk about other people are not civilized and they're not up to the standards of, of America. That's bullshit. These people here are just riding around, eating, looking to make a living, uh, relaxing, tranquilo. Everybody's chill, man, and um, nobody's with all that bullshit. I haven't heard of one, like, I haven't heard of mass murder, period, but those murders that were throughout the country, not murders, but those deaths that were throughout the country, that big media hoopla, that's died down, so hopefully we'll find out what happened with that. Um, but it's crazy, man. I mean, so Americans don't have the, and I'm American, so Americans don't have the, the room to talk about any other country. I mean, I was just talking to my realtor and she was like, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, and the people I talk to are just like, around here, just like, man, what's going on? I mean, why does that go on in the U.S. so much? You think it's stress? You think it's, because everybody's just, just constantly busy trying to pay bills, living above their means, trying to keep everything, and I think that plays a big role in it. And I mean, it's just, that's, that's not all of it. I don't think that's all of it. I think that's just a part of it. I think Americans are just screwed up, man. They're just screwed up. I mean, it's crazy. I had, now I have to worry about, I mean, already had to worry about it, but now you have to worry about your mom, your sister, your nieces, your kids, your parents going to, to Walmart. I mean, you can't even go to Walmart to buy water now without somebody, without, you might not make it home. So, I mean, it's like you have to have a bulletproof vest on to go anywhere in the United States. Guys, I'm just doing a little rant, man. I'm not chilling running some errands and i'm uh, about to grab a bite like i said haven't had a chance to eat today and uh this is a really cool spot t.o pan it's right here on the main strip uh here in tori alta and a uh, real nice chill spot clean nice food uh nice staff i mean they offer it all the prices are, are definitely not expensive at all guys you guys have a great great weekend like I said, about to grab this bite, but I just wanted to touch on that, man. That's crazy. It's just, it's disheartening. You know, and you're American, I'm here, and I talk to people all the time. 
and you know and we just chop it up and it's like what's going on why is all that going on there it just is all the time this is not new this just didn't just happen with these two incidences this this is constantly so it's like and people worry about coming to the dr are you serious i mean are you really serious you worried about coming to the dr when all people worried about is going to the beach and having a cerveza and drinking some wine and relaxing and and talking to chicas or chicos or whatever man or just chilling man america gotta get it together for real i'm out guys i gotta go i gotta eat got some people to meet things to do you guys have a great weekend and be safe man be safe no matter where you are but if you're in the states right now man you know you got copycats that's you know clearly that's what this was a copycat from what happened in south haven mississippi so be careful man keep your head on a swivel no matter where you are but if you're in the states Man, right about now, you need to be real careful, man. And don't let life stress you out to the point where you just feel like you want to snap. We all have had those days and times, financially, relationship-wise, where we just feel like we can't take it anymore. Man, talk to somebody or just take a walk, man. Breathe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, guys. Wanted to let you see what I got, the chicken filly, which is gracias. All right, my man. Got the chicken filly here, and it looks good. I've never had it before, so I'll let you guys know how, how it was, but I'm sure it's good. Everything that I've eaten here has been great. Papa's fries, of course, Tabasco, some, some uh, picante. I'm drinking agua today. Might have a cerveza later, but I'm trying to just keep it light. You know, not drink for two, three days. And, you know, just mix it up. But uh, this definitely looks good, guys. I'm about to munch out. All right, your boy's out. Adios.